Hey, it's Phil from Philips Downlight, and today we're going to do another video on System Manager, and this time we're going to look behind the scenes at the configuration. So System Manager is a very powerful tool, but with great power comes great responsibility. So we need to allow certain users limited access to make sure that they don't create problems in parts of the system or just that they're not confused or overwhelmed with all the features that are in there. Um, so if I go into the Philips Downlight folder here, I've got System Manager Configuration. And this window pops up. This is the page we use to configure the System Manager server. So if I go into Manage Users, I'm going to add a user who's in the system. This is a local user on my machine uh, called Emma. Uh, okay, now here we see Emma's been added. I need to give her user roles and a tenancy. We just put her site on as tenancy. Now we'll go into normal users and we'll make her a normal user. And then if I go into user roles, normal users, I can define what the normal user can do. Now, so it's clear what's happening. I'm just going to turn a few of the pages off in the system and that's done. I don't have to save or anything. All saved, all done. Finish there. Now, if I open System Manager, username Emma, log on. When System Manager opens, we should see that those three pages are no longer visible. So it's opened and you can see I've got just got the console and the sitemap. But if I open sitemap and open an area, I can see the state of the system. So I do have functionality. I just don't have total functionality. Now, let's say Emma gets a promotion, not undeserved. If we go back to the configuration, we might want to change Emma's access rights. So we know here Emma is part of normal users. Now I could extend normal users. I could change it and make it Emma a super user as well. You'll notice as soon as I've changed this, it logged out System Manager in the background. Um, I could even create a new user role called Emma only. And then if I go to that user role, I can give it all the uh, access that I want and then assign Emma to Emma only, and then that will be dedicated. So you can tailor this whichever way you need. And as soon as you make the changes here, they are adapted into the system and you're ready to go. And that's another feature. Look forward to talking to you soon. Cheers.